Okay, welcome back. I have to throw some vases today. Uh, vases just like that one right there that's biscuit fired. I just threw one there. It's a little short. I just threw one there that's a little bit taller. Um, threw a little bit more clay on the wheel. And we'll see if we can't get up to the height I need to be. So I'll set that right up there. That vase is about 10 inches high. So, uh, here we go. This is um, seven pounds of clay. I just wedged it. This clay is um, really stiff. It's been hanging around for a while and it's kind of wedged up a whole bunch of stuff I had laying around. And I wish it was a little softer, but We'll use it up. Get rid of it. So, coning up. You can hear the wheel there. It's stiff clay. Center this up. You know, I wedge this. Um, it still doesn't want to center for me exactly, but it's close enough. Okay, because this clay is so stiff, I drop a hole in the middle here, and I'm gonna do the first pull with my whole hand. Uh, just less strain on on my hand basically I'm using gonna use my whole arm and I'll show you quick so open up sponge okay this bat's also loose on the pins which Makes it even more fun. All right, so my first pull, I'm going to use my whole hand. I'm going to use my pinky to do the pull, and my whole hand here. So I'll use my body to push in. My elbow is kind of locked in my hip. Push in and pull up. Normally I wouldn't do that, but this clay is just about at the end of um, workability, I'd say, before I had to punch a bunch of holes in it try and soften it back up. Alright, so bats lifting off the wheel. Let's that's there we go. Loose bats. Have to buy some more. They're these uh, masonite bats. And the wheel the holes get loose from coming on and off. And they tend to pop off once in a while. Alright, so rough cylinder, big pulls done. A little off center there. Oh. We'll pull now. Get this up to about 10 inches or so. One more pull, kind of straighten that mess out down there and there we go. Bring this up. This is an earthenware clay we use here in the studio. And um person that wants these vases Want some really smooth, no throwing lines or anything. So, Let's see if we can't get that done. One more pull. I'll be up past 10 inches, and it'll um, account for the big belly I'm going to put in this. 
this pot when it shrinks back down when I push that belly out. Okay, so it's probably a, know, 11 inches or so. Grab a rib. I'll put the shape on this pot now. Kind of hit at the bottom. Bulging out the top. There we go. Got a little wobble. Let's see what happens when we calm that down a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be all right. Fix that up. Okay, now I can't find my. Actually, I found my trimming tool, but it's got a big um. Dropped it on the floor. It's got a big kink in the bottom, so I need to regrind it. So I grabbed a, a um, little hand building shaping tool. Not as handy. I'm just trying to get these things thrown so I can get on home tonight. Final shaping and I'll smooth that out. Look at the wobble on that. It's alright, once it's all dry, sitting still, no one will be able to see that. That's character, right? I'm just making this nice and smooth in here now. This rib. There we go. And I'll come up. Kind of a final smoothing. Nice surface for the for the paint to be all smooth on when they come in and paint it. One more time. Use this metal rib in a, in a really steep angle and it gets it nice and smooth. Okay, now I uh, just bought a new chamois leather. It's in the car, of course. So I'll uh, compress this rim with the sponge. Well, maybe I'll trim that off just a little bit, even that up. Yeah, I like that a little better. Okay. Sponge. Trying to get that rim nice and round. That's it. I'll do a couple more up and uh, be out of here. So probably a 10 inch vase, 10, yep, 10 inch vase, 7 pounds of clay. The bottom's a little heavy so I can trim it off a little later and um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.